Welcome to Nanomaterials Slides. Introduction. Nanotechnologies involve designing and producing objects or structures at a very small scale, on the level of 100 nanometers or less. Nanomaterials are one of the main products of nanotechnologies, as nanoscale particles, tubes, roots, or fibers. Nanoparticles are normally defined as being smaller than 100 nanometers in at least one dimension. As nanotechnology develops, nanomaterials are finding uses in healthcare, electronics, cosmetics, textiles, information technology, and environmental protection. At the current slide, you can see nanomaterial classifications. Now, you can see examples of uses of nanomaterials for different types of applications. Advantages of nanomaterials The properties of nanomaterials, particularly their size, offer various different advantages compared to the bulk form of the materials and their versatility in terms of the ability to tailor them for specific requirements, their usefulness. An additional advantage is their high porosity, which again increases demand for their use in multitude of industries. In the energy sector, the use of nanomaterials is advantageous in that they can make the exciting methods of generating energy, such as the solar panels, more efficient and cost-effective, as well as opening up new ways in which to both harness and store energy. Nanomaterials are also set to introduce a number of advantages in electronics and computing industry. Their use will permit an increase in the accuracy of the construction of electronic circuits on an atomic level, assisting in the development of numerous electronic products. The very large surface to volume ratio of nanomaterials is especially useful in their use in a medical field, which permits the bonding of the cells and active ingredients. This results in an obvious advantage of an increase in the likelihood of successfully combating various diseases. Disadvantages of nanomaterials Alongside their benefits, there are also a number of disadvantages associated with nanomaterials use. Due to relative novelty of the widespread use of nanomaterials, there is not a large amount of information on the health and safety aspects of exposure to the materials. Currently, one of the main disadvantages associated with nanomaterials is considered to be inhalation exposure. This concern arises from animal studies, the result of which suggested that nanomaterials such as the carbon nanotubes and nanofibers may cause detrimental pulmonary effects, such as the pulmonary fibrosis. Further possible health risks are ingestion, exposure, and dust explosion hazards. Additionally, there are still knowledge gaps regarding nanomaterials, meaning the manufacturing process can often be complex and difficult. The overall process is also expensive, requiring optimum results, especially regarding their use in consumer goods in order to avoid financial losses. Thanks for watching us. Stay connected. Keep watching, like, share, subscribe our channel on YouTube.